What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Nate Stanley, quarterback out of Iowa. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at the film versus uh, Michigan and, oh, and Iowa State. I keep wanting to say Ohio State, Jesus. Sorry, this is literally the eighth video I'm recording today. Um, in a row. So, yeah. Um... But yeah, I'm going to be taking a look at his stats first. He is going to be entering the 2020 NFL Draft. He is a senior. So uh, yeah, so looking at his stats, he's not like super athletic. He can make some people miss for sure. He can buy some time. Kind of less Lamar Jackson, more Ben Roethlisberger type of mobility. If I were to use a player reference. Um... But yeah, his stats, 2,000 yards, I mean, I mean uh, 2,951 yards, so almost 3,000, 16 touchdowns and 7 picks, and not much as far as rushing goes, but uh, yeah, let's let's just go ahead and get right into it, um, and I do have timestamps, and keep in mind too, I've said this a couple times, but um, I watch a lot more film than I actually show in these videos, but there's just no point in having in showing you like eight games in a row and having like a three hour long video. There's just no point in doing that. Um, so I'm just going to show you some clips from these two games to paint the picture on what I think about him. And um, sometimes I can do that in one game. Sometimes I need a couple. In this case, I needed two. Um, so right away, let's go ahead and get right into it. So right there is kind of one of the issues I kind of have with him. His decision making can be kind of shaky sometimes. I'll be honest. He uh, kind of throws this into double coverage and ends up getting picked off. His decision making is not fantastic. Um, so that's something that does need to be improved on, but that could potentially be coached up. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Get to the next clip here. Minute 15. That kind of just shows off his, his arm strength a little bit. And that was a pretty accurate pass, too. Threw it right where it needed to go. And that looked effortless. Mechanics were good on that one. Fantastic throw. Uh, he has very underrated arm strength. Like, it's actually really solid. And, I mean, it's not like Matthew Stafford type of arm strength, but it's solid. Um, let me go ahead and move over to the next one. Okay. Again, arm strength. Just He just throws a dart there. And he throws it to where only his receiver has a chance of catching this ball. It's a really good throw. Um, the ball kind of gets forced out, but hey, I'm not looking at the receiver or the defender here. I'm just looking at the quarterback. And the quarterback threw a dart perfectly accurate. So that's the end of the evaluation on my end on that throw. Uh, I'm not going to show a whole lot from this game. Um... And I only have three plays from Iowa State. Because I don't need a whole lot to paint the picture of my thoughts. I needed more than this to make my thoughts, but not to show them. 558. This is actually going to be the last play I'm going to show from the Michigan game. This just kind of shows off his ability to throw into tight windows. That is gorgeous. On the sideline, between two defenders... I mean, yeah, to be fair, he kind of threw that in a double coverage, and if that would have been picked off, that probably would have been a negative on him in my eyes. But he just made such a gorgeous throw, it doesn't matter what his decision-making is. Because what was it that Marino said? Nothing beats a good pass. Like, no matter what you're trying to do, no matter what the rules say, if you can't beat a perfect throw. You just can't. 
Um, and right there, th th that's as close to perfect as you can really get. Ah. Let me go ahead and get to the Iowa State game. I think I already got it lined up. Yep. Go full screen. Shows off his athleticism a little bit. Like I said, he's not super athletic, but he can get you some first downs here and there. And he can buy time in the pocket as well with some of that mobility. Uh, he kind of scrambles around a little bit like Ben Roethlisberger, in my opinion. I made that reference earlier. He kind of reminds me of him a little bit. The Iowa uniform might kind of help with that. but um, Minute 22... It's 23, but eh, good enough. This is another concern of his for me. That accuracy. His accuracy and decision-making are both extremely inconsistent. That was double coverage right there. But again, if he would have made a perfect throw, it wouldn't have mattered. Receiver is ahead of them. Um, if that was a perfect throw, it wouldn't have mattered, but it wasn't. He was kind of inaccurate. Actually, he was very inaccurate on that throw, and that is a concern for him. Um, if he can clean those things up, he can be a very good quarterback, in my opinion. Um, I got one more play I'm going to show you. Okay. That play is just fantastic as a whole. L look at the down and distance. You were in the third quarter. Down by eight points. It's third and 22. You've got to get this first down. He just... That was a rocket. That's poise. That's a perfect throw. Into a tight window. There's two defenders there. He, If that's even a little bit off, that is an interception. But he throws the perfect throw with plenty of arm strength. Because you got the defender in pretty tight coverage here. You got another defender here. And you got, what's that, 26 kind of already coming this direction. But he just throws that ball absolutely perfectly right where it needed to go. That's fantastic. That is a fantastic throw. And stuff and throws like that are what makes him promising to me. I think if he can go into the later rounds, if because he's not going to be an early round pick, I don't think. Maybe he really impresses because he's a senior, right? Yeah, he's a senior. So maybe he goes a senior day and he really impresses. That would really help him a lot. And then if he goes to the combine and, and blows it up because he's got some mobility, he's got a really big arm, if he can really show up and really tr go up the, the ranks, he might be able to get a, a bit of a higher draft pick, but... I wouldn't draft them any sooner than the third round, but this guy could be someone that could develop if you get him a good quarterback coach. Um, but I like him. Uh, he he needs to um, he needs to work on some of his decision making and his accuracy, and he does hold on to the ball a little bit too long sometimes. Um, but overall, I really like this guy. I really do. I think he really does have potential. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, as I mentioned, this is the eighth video I've recorded today. Uh, so I'm probably just going to wrap it up here. My throat is burning. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, if you liked this video, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.